Shadow Light. 15i, Alice Shanann Razuchek and Mustarg the Warrior raced out of the alleyway where the murderer Menden's body grew colder in death. Mustarg, who had magically dismissed his gold plate male armor with a word in favor of plain clothes, grabbed my shoulder and turned me in the direction of two men walking beside us on a deserted cobblestone road to hear their frantic words. One of the frantic me all but yelled, I saw the murder golems! They had flashing light in its eyes that looked like the lightning above. The man pointed upward at the arcs of silent blue, lightning arcing across a bloated gray storm cloud. Deep blue streaks of light burned in the coal black of these murder golems. The man's friend beside him appeared doubtful as he asked, Are you certain they were murder golems? They could have been militia golems patrolling the street, he suggested. Nay, nay, they were militia golems, fool, replied the panic-stricken man. They are murder golems. Mayhap they murdered Mendon and Penelope's daughter. The anxious man's anxious stride came to a halt as he yelled out, We must summon the militia! Guards! Guards! Then the two men, now both filled with infectious fear, racked down the road in search of the militia. The clicking of their retreating footfalls masked our hurried steps towards Stone View. As more townsfolk emerged into the wide road known as Main Street, the air buzzed with fast-spoken chatter of murder golems roaming the streets. One woman hysterically told anyone who would listen that a trio of murder golems had been seen moments ago, marching towards Stone View, gripping woodchopper axes in their gloved hands. Mustarg stopped running. He reached out and caught my wrist in an iron grip to stop me and growled, Agnes and Wagen are in Stone View. Find them, Alice. I shall meet you momentarily. Okay. I told him as he released his unbreakable grip. Then I spoke the word of illusionary magic Thomas had taught me to transform my scant attire into enveloping yellow robes. I ran headlong towards Stone View. With hillocks screening my form, I spied upon the distant forms of Agnes and Wagon. They sat side by side beneath a towering flesh golem statue. A thousand feet downwind from the couple, the approaching storm wind flattened the tall blades of hill grass within stone view with an angry whoosh. I spotted a silvery shimmer surrounding a monstrously uneven hill. As soon as I flanked the rock-strewn hill, I stepped into an unseen and silent dimensional space hidden within the folds of the physical world. I watch it in wide-eared fascination as a blue robin wizard, reach it into the air and pull it apart an unseen thread of magic, reshaping the flashing blue and gold energy rested together in a circle that buzzed with the intensity of a thousand beehives. The wizard threw his sleeved hand outward to extend a single digit at the swirling pool of colorful energy forming before us like a midair whirlpool. He called out to me as I crouched hidden beside the hill. I know you are near, girl. The magical doorway I created shall lead into our soon-to-arrive teleportation pyramid. The pyramid shall make all the council members, and our families and allies even, ridiculously rich. The wizard tilted his head back and chuckled. Come out, little dove. I know you are watching. I created this space for us. You slew my companions, Menden and my mistress, Penelope's daughter. I fingered the string of my short bow as it remained hidden beneath my robes. However, I sensed the blue-robed wizard wore invisible magical armor that would instantly deflect my enchanted arrows. I emerged from behind the hill to stand beside the wizard. I pointed my condemning index finger at his face and yelled, You, Mendon, and your mistress lured innocent townsfolk to their deaths. Then you used Mahal's dark arts to resurrect them as undead golems to serve in your town militia. I spat accusingly. You are well informed. We also use necromancy to enlarge corpses and create magnificent murder golems. Meet my giant top hat wearing friends doomed girl. Unseen on the other side of the wide hill. Until now, I watched three seven foot tall bearded golems march to the top of the hill. They clutched woodchopper axes and arrow razors the size of battle axes. Their orb-like eyes blasted with volcanic blue fury as rumbling lightning streaked overhead. Sensing my unseen companions, I turned sidelong and smiled as Agnes, Wagen, and Mustarg took long and purposeful strides towards the hidden dimensional space.
With a confident smile, I told the smug wizard, my friends are far more powerful than you or your murder golems. <laughs>